Charterman, Charterman, Brian. Charterman, 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 Brian. Three car mix, twins are hella sick, hella whackin' it. Take a bad hit, take a bad hit. What's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the X-Men Apocalypse Build-A-Figure Waves Gladiator. If you're trying to pick up this set, you can pre it right now at Big, Big, Big. Get your big, badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Okay, so yeah, I needed one of these figures, but now I have two. Anyway, on the side, you can see a nice image of Gladiator over there. And then on the very back, you can see a good-looking product shot. Oh, he's really flexing over there. There's a read-up over here. Here. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it now. There's the other figures from the wave. And then you can see Gladiator again right over here. And we got the X logo spot varnish on the top. Not much more at the bottom. So let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here is Gladiator out of the packaging. And he's not looking too bad. You know, I've had this figure before. So uh, we are getting different paint apps. So that is pretty cool. But yeah, for the most part, this isn't a figure I'm extremely excited for. But I do like the Hyperion body mold or at least least a bunch of parts of the Hyperion body mold anyway. And I do think that we have some nice sculpted work over here with that head sculpt too. So let's get a closer look. And to briefly go over the bio of this character, uh, his name Gladiator actually was loosely based off of the Gladiator novel. It was a 1930 novel that also was partly responsible for the creation of Superman. Thus, this guy's actual name is K-Lark, which is part Kal-El and part Clark Kent. So this is definitely, I don't know if Marvel's trolling DC Comics when they're creating this character, but yeah, uh, this is partly, I guess, you know, the Marvel's version of Superman. Uh, but he was the leader of the Shi'ar Imperial Guard, or continues to be the leader of the Shi'ar Imperial Guard, even though he's from a different race. And he was introduced first in the X-Men books, that's where I was first introduced to the character. And then he's been in Fantastic Four and Thor, he joined the Annihilators, he's fought, or he's fought alongside Spider-Man and Captain America, and he's just all throughout the Marvel Universe, you can find him pretty much anywhere. And as far as his power set Let's go. He's got the incre the super strength. Uh, he has uh, super dur durability, agility, and vulnerability, flight, and psionic powers. So looking at this head sculpt, it's it, I mean I like it. It looks pretty good. You know, not a whole lot to say about it. It looks very much like the first version that we saw, but with a much more matted purple paint than the SDCC exclusive version that we're seeing on the right side. So you can see the main difference between the two of them right there. But both of them both have about the same kind of paint apps on them and everything. Thing. So that's pretty cool. Uh, there's this thing uh, you can see on the left side of the neck right there how that seam I don't know doesn't look too bad on this figure though. I don't know it just looks a little bit worse to me. I don't know could be very nitpicky and the head is on the figure a lot more firmly than uh, than this one. This is super wobbly so a lot more firm on this one and less gold throughout on the figure so you can see the Hyperion body mold right here and we just get this you know flat yellow tiniest little smudge right over here. Uh, it doesn't really bother me that much. I really do like the navy blue. I don't think these colors are bad or anything, you know? Like, as we were just looking at those images, I felt like, you know, this represented that look for Gladiator and everything. And he's maintained the same suit, you know, throughout his existence. I don't remember his suit really changing much ever. But, yeah, so he's got the fist right there. Pretty clean paint apps, a little bit of red splotching. But, you know, for the most part, I think it came out looking pretty clean. The cape looks pretty good. So, yeah. I don't really have much uh, really to complain about. Uh, getting his cape ported into his back can be tricky because they use this softer plastic, which I do like. So you kind of just, you know, takes a little bit more effort pegging that in, but really not a whole lot to complain about. I like that we get some gold right over here, and then, you know, we've got yellow for the rest of it. But yeah, nice looking mohawk and everything. Looks awesome. And the articulation on this figure is the same as we'd seen on the other version. You can see that you can move his head all the way up, and it will look all the way down. You get side to side motion. Shoulders move outward that far. Oh, you can also do some head pivoting because it's so wobbly, uh, but not as wobbly as this one. Again, this one's just really wobbly. But anyway, shoulders move outward, they move down. You can rotate 360, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, both wrists turn side to side and hinge up and down. We get the ab crunch forward, ab crunch back, waist swiveler, hips outward. 
forward, hips kicking forward and back a little bit, upper thigh cut, double jointed knees, calf rotation, ankles down, up, and we get ankle pivot. Now to measure out this gladiator figure, you can see that to the very top of the mohawk, he's standing just under seven and a half inches tall. I guess to the top of the head, it's just a little under seven inches. And then for your gladiator comparison, we have our Apocalypse Build a Figure Wave version next to the San Diego Comic Con exclusive version, and I do like this one more. I like the vibrant paint apps. I like all the gold. We has gold right there on the cape, gold on the chest. Uh, I don't like the wobbly head or the super glossy face. So those are two things that, you know, uh, I like about this one more. So better head sculpt. Go ahead and swap these. Let's see here if I get my perfect gladiator figure just by swapping these two out. It looks like this is going to work out actually pretty well. Yeah, it's still really, really wobbly on that head. That's kind of funny looking, but hey, that, that, that works. I may stick with that. Another thing I like about this figure is that he has black paint apps over the red, so I do really like that black shadowing effect that we're seeing over the red portions of the figure. So while Hasbro's given us another figure, they're still able to make this San Diego Comic-Con exclusive version, you know, kind of still feel exclusive. And then here's Gladiator next to the other figures from this wave that I've already reviewed. We have Multiple Man, Sabretooth, and Wolverine, and I don't know if you could tell, but I have already started modding my Sabretooth and Wolverine figures. Uh, first off with the saber tooth over here. I did go ahead and take a Dremel to this uh, Any miners out there or any kids or even I don't know stupid 20 year olds be careful with the Dremel man You could hurt yourself or hurt your house uh, But as you can see right here, and I say stupid 20 year olds because I was a stupid 20 year old But anyway, uh, you can lift up the head just a little bit still and that's pretty much how it looked like before and then now it just sits a little bit lower. That makes a difference to me. Won't make a difference for everybody, but that helps for me. I like that look a little bit better. And then thanks to x 87 who also got the info from Chris Lyons, so shout out to both you guys. Uh, you let me know that you could go ahead and heat these up and go ahead and spread those ears out a bit farther. I could have moved them outward even more than that, but this is where I left them right here and they've stayed since yesterday. So yeah, this is actually now uh, officially my favorite Marvel Legends Wolverine figure. I, I love this figure so much now. And then to compare this gladiator figure next to your average six inch scale figure, we have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Gladiator, huh? Well, you got the hair going, all right, that's cool, but you don't have any weapons. Uh, where's your giant silver hammer, or you don't have any blue swords or anything, huh? Kind of a letdown if you ask me. Whoa. Oh, that's cool. Oh, space fart! Oh. <laughs> so I'd like to thank you guys once again just because I am very grateful for you guys that watch my videos, especially those of you that watch all the way from the very beginning to the end. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. And please hit that like button if you liked the video, as well as leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already, as well as hit that notification bell. I don't know if you guys noticed this or not, but I accidentally left the SDCC head sculpt on this figure's body right here throughout all those size comparisons in the stop motion segment, but I have the more matted head sculpt on there, which is my preference of the two gladiator figures. So there is something to like about this. Also, the paint apps overall are, uh, they're different enough, I think, yet still comic book accurate. So I don't think this is a bad figure at all. It's just that I have one that I already prefer more than this one. But it's not the worst thing in the world to have two of these guys because Gladiator shows up all over the 616. So it's pretty easy to find a spot for a second Gladiator figure. So I'm giving this a sud rating of I'll wait for the Black Friday sale. So yeah, not a full on pass for me, but something I'm not excited to spend 20 to 25 bucks on because I already have another version that I prefer over this one. But still, not a bad piece. Again, I'd like to know what you think in the comments section below. If you want to see a photo gallery of images, it should be over at MarvelousNews.com and ShardomsPrime.net. And please don't forget to follow me on the social media, on the Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.